You ever wondered how antibiotics work in the body? Well, I made myself a Rice Krispie cell in order to show you. Okay, so here we go. We have the cell wall, then we have our mitochondria, we have our Golgi, we have our smooth and rough reticulum, uh, and then we have our nucleus, and then one guy that's really important here is gonna be your ribosomes. Now your ribosomes are gonna produce proteins. Now typically with proteins, they're going to use these in order to create RNA and DNA and synthesis for the cell, so that way the cell continue its production and continue its work. But here's the problem, is that once we get bacteria that invades like so, it doesn't really particularly invade like a virus does. It starts to attach itself to the cell wall like this. And as it attaches itself to the cell wall, what it goes and starts to tell the ribosomes like, hey, I want your protein. Your cell needs to create more protein and feed me. And so the ribosomes go, okay, no problem. We're going to produce more proteins. They think that it's for producing more RNA and DNA, but in turn, it ends up feeding the bacterial cells okay so essentially the bacteria is tricking the ribosomes to create more protein to feed itself and when it feeds itself and it gets more food then it replicates and creates more and more bacteria because the more it can feed itself the more it wants to multiply like so and when that occurs then we get more and more proteins that produced by the ribosomes and ultimately end up in the hands of this bacteria and this is how bacterial infections will grow and grow and grow so how does an antibiotic work? Well, we have a bacterial cidal antibiotics and we have bacterial static antibiotics. So bacterial cidal are the more common ones. This is basically how they work is they take this membrane and they create a thin membrane around the cell like so. Essentially making it very, very difficult for a bacteria to bind to the cell wall because it makes this little membrane here that doesn't allow that to occur. Another thing that it's going to do is it's going to create almost little thorns on the membrane as well. Kind of like a battlement in a kind of siege warfare where it's basically keeping little thorns like so, so that way bacteria can't come in. And when they come in and they hit these thorns, they pop and break and they break down. So they're not able to bind to that wall. So that's what a bacterial cidal type of antibiotic will uh, do. Now, when it comes to a bacterial static, instead of having this, where they're making membranes and making thorns because those will already be in place, a bacterial static will go to the ribosomes and be like, hey, we need you to decrease protein production. And by decreasing protein production, it means that the bacteria that's attached to the cell now is not able to continue to feed itself. If it's not able to continue to feed itself, it can't continue to multiply at the same rate. And ultimately, we start to kill off the multiplication of that bacteria. And that's how antibiotics work on the cells. We love that you love our video, so much so that we've actually created some shock illustrated notes for you, and you can download these for free in a link on our bio.